Well, howdy, everybody. All right, so we're going to do a review on mail merges. Uh, this is for week eight assignment letter merge. Uh, we'll do the speed round on this one. Uh, it goes pretty quick. I also have another video that outlines instructions for using an Excel file or other files for your mail merge uh, recipients. So here we go. So the uh, instructions are to create a mail merge uh, document in Word with a list of at least five people. And we're going to include a field called gift. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to rock and roll this one out. So you'll notice that um, we have the example here of what we're going to be doing. And the first thing we're going to do is open up Word. I'm going to make sure I'm in no spaces because I noticed that this document has uh, no space really between the lines. So I'm just going to set that style. And then we're going to go to mailings. We want to tell Word that we are going to start a mail merge for letters. And so once we do that, um, my other video will show you how to just add recipients. So you can actually uh, use an existing list. If you have an existing list, if not, you're going to create a new list. So we're going to do type a new list. And when you do that, you're brought to this screen and you can actually expand it so you can see more of the fields. And you're just going to type in the names and information that you want for up to five people. But remember, the assignment did say that we need to have a field for gift. So I'm going to add that. And the way I got there was going to customize columns and add and then add the field that I want. And I'm going to just take gift and I'm going to move it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be that high up. So I'm going to keep hitting this move down until I get past I'm going to get right to there. And we're not going to need home phone, so I'm going to delete that column. I'm going to delete work phone. I'm not going to need that. And I'm going to delete email. And I'm going to delete address too, because we're not going to need that for this example. So you can add as many as you want. I'm going to actually take out country region. We're not going to need that one either. So these are the fields that we're going to need. And I'm going to remove title, because we're not going to need that one either. So you can see how easy it is to just add and remove those. So you click OK. I'm only going to put in two records for uh, time sake so you see just I'm just tabbing into the next one so I'm gonna put BYUI first street Luxburg Idaho three three four four zero and I'm gonna put the gift as money who doesn't want money all right then we're gonna to go to new entry I'm going to pause the video for a second while I put in some extra entries here. Okay, so we're back. I've added uh, actually three records here so you get a good idea of it. I've just added new records because hit new entry when you're ready to hit uh, new those new entries. Once you hit OK, it's going to ask you to save a file. So this is the database file for this particular document. Um, so it's going to ask you to save in this particular location, which is called My Data Sources a file that is a Microsoft address list, MDB. It's actually a Microsoft database file. That's what MDB is. And I'm just going to name this something similar to this guy. Actually, I'm just going to name it Business 240 Week 8 Mail Merge Recipients. You can name it whatever you want, just as long as you remember the name and where it's located. I'm going to click Save. And now I'm back to my blank document. So you'll remember for our example, it wants these fields, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. So what you'll do is you'll come here and insert merge field. Now the temptation is to do the address block. If you do address block, technically it is doing everything that we want. If I preview the results, first name, last name, but it has company, address, city, state, zip. What we want is just first name, last name, address. We don't need to worry about business. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do, instead of address block, I'm going to say insert merge field, first name. And I'm going to undo the preview results. And then you're going to want to put a space. So you got to remember that you're, you're inserting this information. And I'm going to hit enter. And then we want address. I'm going to hit enter. Go to insert merge field, do city. And then comma, space, because it's city. And then you're putting in state and then a space, and then zip, and then we'll come down here, and it wants dear first name. So dear, insert merge field. Actually, I need one more. There we go. And then it wants the text. Thank you so much for the gift. And 
We're going to insert the gift field with an exclamation point. And then blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't type that, but type what's in the in there. And then if you go to preview results, you can see what is going to be done in the mail merge. You can see my first record here. You can come up here. It's like a little player. So I'm going to go click and go to the next one, which is two. And I can see Chris Dobson. He gave, gave me a stuffed bunny. That was awesome. And then go to the next one, Mary Newman. And she gave me a Tickle Me Elmo. So then once you're done, you're going to do finish and merge. But don't print it, okay? So uh, go through that process. And then if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I have another video that shows you how to use existing data sources uh, for your mail merge. If you have like a big list of 100 names or 200 names, it's super easy to do. So hope you have fun with this one. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.